Hey, I'm Kimberly Margarita. I'm a makeup artist, and this is Allure's Artist Recreates. As a makeup artist and body painter, I'm super inspired by the colors and textures of food. I have done many different food-inspired looks, including a gumball machine, pineapple, strawberry, watermelon, peppermint lollipop. But today, I'm gonna be showing you how I created this ice cream look, since I really just love ice cream, and I'm super inspired by the bright colors. I chose mint chocolate chip ice cream since that is my favorite flavor, but I also love the color of the mint as well. I chose to do a cherry on top also to match the red lip. I felt like that really balanced out the look. So when I posted this look, I was super excited with the response that I got. My followers really seemed to like it and I got a lot of engagement on this post. So the first step for this look I did last night actually, which is shaving my head to make sure that I have a perfectly smooth canvas to create my art on. I first started shaving my head a couple of years ago when I felt like I was really in a rut with my art and once I did I felt like my creativity really skyrocketed and it really opened up the possibilities when it comes to makeup looks. I have a much bigger canvas to create my art on and it just helps me feel a lot more creative. So the first step for this look, I take a nude colored pencil and I just do the outline for all the drips of the ice cream. I choose to use a nude color because if I mess up, it's a lot easier to fix my mistakes. So when I'm creating the drips for this look, I'm making sure that I am doing them in various lengths, just so it kind of looks more natural, like how ice cream would actually drip down the face instead of being more uniform. So next step, we'll be applying the color for the ice cream. These are the two products that I'm going to use to create the color. This is a face paint, and then this is a multi-use product. It can be used as an eyeliner or basically anything you want. So I'm gonna be mixing these two together to create the perfect minty shade for my ice cream. Whenever I'm doing a look, I always like to test the color out on my hand first before I go in on my face to make sure that it's the perfect color that I want. So this is the color here. I'm just gonna be adding a little bit more white to it to give it more of that minty tone that I'm looking for. First, I'm gonna go in with a small brush. This is gonna ensure that I get nice crisp lines around all the edges of the drips that I created. So once I have that all done, I'm gonna take a bigger brush, going in with the same color and just filling in the rest of my head. So when I am covering a large area of my head with face paint, I really like to use a dense foundation brush because that will ensure that the paint is going on in an opaque layer and it's going to help apply it really evenly. So I am using this Fenty foundation brush. This is 110. And when I'm applying the paint, I prefer to do kind of patting motions instead of swiping the paint. That's gonna make sure that you're not getting any brush strokes in the paint and it's gonna help it look more even. So after I fill everything in, I'm just taking the small brush again and I'm just blending the area where we did that outline into the bigger space just so we don't have any line going on there and it looks nice and blended. So now that we have the base layer of color down, I'm going to be adding a little bit of contouring and highlighting to the ice cream to give it some more dimension. So I'm going to be taking this shadow palette here and I'm going to be using this green shade to add a little bit of shading. And with this step, you don't have to worry if you go outside the line a little bit because we are going to be cleaning that up later anyways. So this step is fairly subtle, but it's really going to help it all come together. It's going to help make the ice cream appear a little bit more 3D and help to give it a little bit of that realistic look. Now that I'm done shading the drippy areas, I'm going to be taking a bigger brush with the same colors and going and shading a little bit around the outside of my head, again, just to create a little bit more dimension in the look. So to find the right shade, I am mixing this green here with a little touch of this blue. And when I'm doing any shading, 
on top of face paint. I really like to kind of just use like a stamping motion again as opposed to swiping just so I don't mess anything up that I've already put down. So now that I have done the shading, the next step is going to be highlighting. So I'm going to be going in with this really shimmery minty green shade. It's going to be the perfect highlighting shade to complement the tones that we have going on on the face. And with this highlighter, I'm just taking it on all the high points of the face, just the areas that you would normally use a highlighter. And I'm also putting this on the inner portion of the eye just to really illuminate that area and bring some light there. And to finish off the eye, I'm going to be taking the same colors we used to shade the face and I'm just going to be popping that on the outer corner of the eye just to shade up into my crease. And then I'm also taking a little bit of that just underneath the eyebrow right at the front. I really want to add as much dimension to the face as I can since we are just using one color. It can tend to look a little bit flat unless you really do the proper amount of shading. And then taking a smaller brush with the same colors, just going underneath the eye. The next step is my favorite part and that is adding the chocolate bits to the ice cream. So I'm going to take a black face paint and I'm going to mix it with just a touch of brown to create a nice chocolatey shade. So when I'm painting these, I am making sure to vary the shape and size. You don't want them looking too similar. So this next step is going to be a little bit messy, but basically we are going to splatter a little bit of paint on the ice cream in the same shade that we did the chocolate chunks, just to kind of make it look like there are little tiny bits of chocolate within the ice cream. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to really water down this paint and then I'm going to coat my brush in it and then I'm going to run my finger just on the brush tip just to kind of splatter a little bit of paint on there. You don't want to do too much, but this really helps to give it a little bit of texture and makes it look like tiny little chocolate bits. And don't worry about getting it on this part of your face because we're going to be cleaning that up. So it's okay to make a mess. We need a little cherry on top. So I'm just going to take some red face paint on a small brush and I'm just going to do a circle. And then taking a teeny tiny brush, just going to do the stem. So I'm taking a dark red shadow and I'm going to begin to shade one side of the cherry. Just for that depth. And then on the other side we're going to add a little bit of a white highlight. And then under the cherry I'm just giving it a tiny little shadow. So the final step for the ice cream portion is going to be adding the intense white highlights just to make it look nice and shiny and kind of give it that texture. So I'm going along to each one of the drips and I'm just adding a little bit of a white highlight to give it an illusion of that shiny effect. I used to face paint with my friend and I, and it was kind of funny because um, some kids would want matching looks and she wasn't really an artist, um, you know, and I'm quite experienced in makeup. And so we would do the same look on the two kids. And some of the kids would complain at the, like, the face paint that my friend put on them. And they'd be like, I want to look more like her. And I was like, oops. <laughs> I was like, my friend's doing the best she can. Like, damn. So now with a little bit of concealer, I'm going to go and clean up these areas with the drips and anywhere that we got a little bit of face paint. This is just really going to help the lines look a little bit more crisp. So now that we have all that done, for the rest of my face, 
I'm just gonna be taking my normal foundation and applying that. So to create a shadow to make it look like the ice cream is on top of the skin, I'm going in with a little bit of black shadow mixed with a tiny bit of brown and I'm just creating a shadow between each one of the drips. I feel like I go through phases where I want to do different types. Like I went through a really long phase where I was recreating characters a lot, um, doing kind of like cosplays, but right now I'm into more of the like avant-garde type looks and um, just doing like different patterns and designs on my face and doing different galaxy looks and different rainbow looks and just experimenting with a lot of color combinations. That's my favorite part of makeup is pairing different colors together. When I first started out, negative comments really, really got to me and really bothered me because I am a really sensitive person, but I feel like since I've been doing this for a few years now, kind of grew a thicker skin. I know the person that I am. I like what I do. Nothing can really bother me that people say anymore. The first time I did this look, I used a cream makeup instead of a water base. And a water base makeup dries by itself and you don't have to set it. But a cream product can be more tricky. Um, it can kind of slide around and move because it kind of has that like slick feeling to it. So you really have to make sure that you set it with a ton of powder. Um, but when I did it this time, it was much easier with the water activated paint because it dries and then it just sets itself. So now that I'm completely done the ice cream portion, I'm going to focus on the rest of the face, which is just going to be a regular beauty makeup. I'm going to go ahead and apply bronzer, blush, and highlight like I would do in any typical daily makeup. Applying some blush. And then going in with a little bit of a shimmery highlight here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrow. I shave the tail ends of my brows off. It gives me more freedom in my makeup look. Sometimes I shave them all the way off because brow blocking, like, it takes a long time. And even then you can still kind of see it a little bit, whereas if you just shave it all off, it's like a blank canvas. I'm gonna switch to lips for a second before I go in and finish my eyes. So I chose to do a red lip with this look because I feel like it's really glam, but it's also balancing out the look since we have the red cherry. So I felt like pairing it with the red lip was just a good combination. So I just outlined my lips with a red lip liner and I'm gonna grab a red liquid lipstick and fill them in. Oh wait, concealer. So I'm gonna be doing the eyeshadow on this eye now. I'm just gonna go in with some neutral colors, like some warm browns. So I'm just taking like a medium warm brown shade and I'm just running that through my crease and then focusing it on the outer corner of the eye. I'm also going to be running that underneath the eye as well. Just putting it under the eye to add a little bit of definition. And then I'm taking a deeper brown and I'm throwing that in the outer corner of the eye. Again, we're just adding a little bit more depth. And taking a soft champagne color on this lid. And I'm also going to throw that under the brow bone as well and on the inner corner. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to be doing the same liner on each side and I'm going to be winging it out slightly. So I just line my eyes and then I'm going to be extending that into a little wing. And then doing the same on the other eye. On both eyes, I'm gonna line my waterline in black. I love how much definition this brings to the eye and just really makes it pop. And then I'm taking a bit of black shadow 
I'm just smudging it along the lower lash line. Time for mascara, but I have to curl my lashes first. I'm grabbing my favorite pair of super dramatic spiky lashes and I'm going to pop those on. Just a little bit of lip gloss. So the last step will be applying the ice cream cone. I used a sugar cone since it's more lightweight and it's going to be easier to adhere to my head. I'm just going around the rim of the ice cream cone and I'm adding some lash glue. But you can also use spirit gum as well. I'm waiting until it gets a little bit tacky and then I'm just going to hold it in place for a few minutes until the glue dries. Okay, done. <laughs> So now the look is complete. I have become the ice cream cone. This look was definitely much easier to do the second time around. I chose paints that were a lot easier to work with and I feel like I refined my technique a little bit more. I always feel great when I am covered in makeup and bright colors. I just feel more like myself. I love the transformation aspect of makeup and just how you can turn into anything that you want. I really hope you all enjoyed seeing how I created this drippy ice cream look. It's definitely got me inspired to try more food looks. I think next time I would like to try something cake inspired. I think that could be fun. I feel like a snack. <laughs>